It's all fun and games till someone smiles at you the wrong way and wants to kill you. Today we're going to be playing the Smiling Man Remake. We played this game a long time ago, but this time it's got some high definition graphics, a different story, and some new ways of getting scared. If you guys want to play the old version, it's down in the description and the new version as well. Go support my merch. I got some leggings that I'm willing to wear. Basically, there's a video called Pikachu.exe that if it gets a thousand views, I am going to buy the leggings on my merch and I'm going to wear it for a live stream or take a picture. So we're going to play The Smiling Man. I hope you guys like it. There's a true difference between actually smiling and versus, like, being a psychopath. Like, look at this. Like, this is a smile. Hey, how's it going? My name is Cosmeto. How you doing? It's nice to meet you. And then there's the... Yeah, it's really... It, it's it's really nice. It's really nice to meet you. I, I, I hope that one day we can just, just really get, get to, to know, know each, each other and just... just have a good life. I think most of this game is a narrative, so I'll try my best to read. Some years ago, I lived in the center of a large city in the USA. As I always been a night person, I often got bored after my roommate, who decidedly not a night person, went to bed. To pass the time, I used to take long walks and spend time thinking. That sounds very sweet. I spent four years like that, walking alone at night, and never once had a reason to feel afraid. I always used to joke with my roommate that even the drug dealers in the city were polite, but all of that changed in just a few minutes of one evening. It was a Wednesday, somewhere between one and two in the morning, and I was walking near a police patrol park quite a ways from my apartment. It was a quiet night, even for a weeknight, with very little traffic and almost no one on foot. The park as it was most nights, was completely empty. Guys, seriously, I'm trying to come back on this. I miss you guys. I, I took my, my long break, and it got the best of me. I, I really hope you all support me. I appreciate you. I'm trying to work hard, I'm trying to help my family out. I appreciate you. I seriously, I'm doing what I can. Love you. What's so bad about this? It's a nice long walk in the park, two in the morning. What could go wrong on a Wednesday? It's been a long time. I'm tired. I better go home. How big is this park where it's just a straight line? Well, actually, I know some parks that have long... Okay. Oh, man. Look at this. We're in the night. Hey! Time! It's, it's just a car. It's just a car. It's a car. Sorry. It's just a car. Oh, cargo vroom. I was walking down a small street to get back to my apartment. When I first noticed it, at the end of the street, there was a silhouette of a man dancing. You must be seeing things, narrator, because I, I don't... I, oh, oh, oh. It was a strange dance. As he danced, he took a step forward. I guess you could say he was dancing coming straight towards me. Looks like he's gotta like really go to the bathroom. He danced closer still until I could make out his face. His eyes were open wide and wild, head tilted back slightly, looking off at the sky. His mouth was formed in a painfully wide cartoon of a smile. But look at those teeth. That dentist must be proud. No one's taking his eyes off him at all. In fact, Ah! He stopped dancing and was standing with one foot in the street, perfectly parallel to me. He was facing me, but still looking skyward, smile still wide on his lips. I'm leaving the area. Okay. We're leaving. Goodbye. Why? Why do you have that animation so still? Way too relaxed. Dude, why? Why? Why do you turn around like that? He had crossed the street and was now crouching slightly. I was so shocked that I just stood there for a while looking at him. Oh boy! Imagine someone just getting up like that! He took a giant exaggerated step on tiptoe, like a cartoon character sneaking up on someone. Only he was moving very, very fast. Dude! Yo, hands up, my guy. Chill. I want no problems. Yo, it must be a good day for you to be alive. Like, yeah, what do you want? Well, isn't it obvious? I want to show you my pearly whites. He just bounces away. Frees a bird. This guy must have lost his job and then just said, you know what? First person I see, they're done. It's all their fault. Oh. Shit. Huh? 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 Oh! No! No, 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 no! Why? Why? Why do you chase me? This isn't even correct! This isn't right! Dude just went a full sprint chasing me. I'm not looking back. I'm not looking back. I'm gonna look back. Ah, he hit me! Oh! Oh, he killed me. Come on, you can do it, buddy! You can do it! Come on! Come on! You're so close! You're a dreamer! Ah, uh, see ya! 
See you later. He could have caught up. I ran until I got off the side of the road and back onto the well-lit, low-traffic road. When I looked back, he was nowhere to be found. Throughout the rest of the way home, I kept looking over my shoulder, always expecting to see his stupid smile, but he was never there. I lived in that city for six months after that night and never went out for a stroll again. There was something about his face that haunted me. He didn't even look drunk. He didn't look high. He looked completely and utterly insane. And that's a very, very scary thing to see. Play alternate story. Yeah, I want to know what that is. I think it's the actual version that we played before, but it's just remade and making it look more high def. This is this is the easy stuff. We, we, we already know what we're in for here. For some of the people that don't know, I advise you to go watch the original version we made before, before you come back here, if that made sense. Oh, there he is. There he is, beautiful. Beautiful. What a beautiful man. Oh, that smile. And if I saw somebody standing there on the side of the road, you don't want to necessarily just stare at him back. Quick Mert. We're off to Quick Mert. Hello, pick up something to buy. Hey, Frank. Or Johnny. Johnny Sins. That's what his name was. <laughs> Pay what you picked up. What did I get? The special. I, I got the special shopping list. Good evening. It was 30 50 Jeez. Oh, his car's out here. I'm like trying to get the lay the new layout because I don't know if uh wait, I don't even think there was a back door. There is no back door. They got rid of it. Oh no. Uh are you there? Oh no, you're not there anymore. Wait, are you behind you're not behind one of the houses? I don't even know, man. That's strange. That's strange. Um alright, I guess he's there anymore! Holy crap! Dude! Oh, do you die? You, you parallel mother! Ooh, I really don't like you, man. God. God! You're on the side of my house! I don't know, man. How do you go to sleep? Did you go to bed? Did you, like, did you sleep? Did you stay up? Like, that guy stayed outside your house and you just went to bed like nothing? And now you're gonna repeat the same routine? He was in your driveway, homie! How are you gonna go back out there at night? Why are we doing this? Call your buddy! See, it's a big understanding. Like, the more we play this, the more I really understand, like, what's going on with my character. My character is actually on the same insane level as this guy. He doesn't get it. Oh, look at him tiptoeing. Here he comes. He's gonna try to sell me something. Good evening, sir. Can I interest you in some teeth product? I mean, sure. He's tip- he tiptoes away into the- into the dark, but just watch what happens. Watch what we do. Just watch this, guys. Watch. Watch this whole section. Our character looks down in the slowest animation way possible. Uh, I don't know why. And then, he's like, oh, let me slowly look back up and continue on. Because that's what we're going to do. This is the smartest man alive! Survive or die? Why? Nope. We're going to the quick mart. Quick mart, quick mart. Quickie mart. Quickie mart. Quickie mart. This guy could be right behind me. Into the quickie mart do we go. Quickie mart. Oh. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, he's, he's gone. He's gone. Yeah, shut the door. Lock it. Lock it. Lock the door. Okay. Um. Well, as far as I know, we look at the guy, we die. I need to take the keys. I need to take your keys. Yep. Give me those keys. Thank you, thank you. Alright, let's go get that car. Oh, he's there! Oh, he's gosh, he's there! You turn! You turn! Get in the car! Get in the car! Get in the car! <laughs> Peace out, bro! Peace out! That's game physics for you. It doesn't matter how many times you hit me. You could be right next to me, you could be in my ear, and I'll still get away. Yeah, so that was the good ending. I already called it. That, I'm just, we're good like that. We're, we're just built different. So now we're gonna make our way over to the bad ending. I'm sure you guys want to see that, so we'll do that. Cashier's body. Holy crap! They the psycho killed him. He that looks really bad. Like that. That's bloody. Oh. Hello. The door's opened. Huh? Ew. The sound. Oh. <laughs> Search charging. Full speed, I didn't even notice, and there's the bad ending. Alright, well, that's all I gotta say. And again, if you want to see me in those leggings, a thousand views on that video down in the description, I'll do it. 
I'll do it. I mean, I, I, somebody bought them, and they said they're really comfortable. So, I'll see what the fuss is all about, I guess. Anyway, guys, um, that's pretty much it. I'm, uh, I just want to say, I'm Cosmetto, and that just happened. Ah!